saw me text. Like, what? What? Hey girls, so today for you I have a makeup tutorial and it's a Halloween tutorial. I don't know how many I'm going to be doing this year for Halloween, but at least if I don't do any more after this one, I have one up. Like, this looks pretty real. I was totally too real. So today's Halloween tutorial will be a realistic looking zombie look with special effects makeup, which is actually, it's not even special effects makeup. It's eyelash glue. Like, it's perf. You just, you know, I'm going to show you in the video how amazing it's going to look. But, yeah. So, for I didn't show a costume. For a costume, all I really did was take old clothes that have, like, rips and everything. And I just added, like, a crap ton of fake blood on it. And then I took the shirt and ran it all up. Oh, my God. Don't come back. And then I just ripped holes and added black and blood just to make it look pretty gross. So yeah, give this video a big, big thumbs up if you love makeup tutorials, especially the ones of the Halloween variety. And also, don't forget to check out my giveaway, which is still going on until November 3rd, which will be linked down below and on my face. Without further ado, let's hop into this gruesome, grueling, zombie makeup look. So first off, I'm going to be starting by taking my Maybelline baby skin because zombies love to eat babies. And this is just going to provide a nice layer between my face and the makeup we will be applying later. Then taking a BB cream, this is just going to even out my skin tone to remove all the redness and life from my face. Then going in with my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, just applying this evenly all over my face to add discoloration and deadness to my face. Because, yes. And then setting that all with a translucent powder. And then going in with a red lipstick, I'm going to be applying this underneath my eyes and on top of my eyelids to make it look like my eyes have been seriously infected by a virus. And then going in with a green cream makeup, I'm going to be applying this to my cheekbones and contouring just to give myself a deadly look and just add some definition to my face. And then following up with a matte brown eyeshadow, just contouring my cheekbones and the whole rest of my face to make it look like I haven't eaten and that my face has sunken in. I'm also going to be doing that to my throat to make it look very slim and thin and also to my forehead to make it look like I have been decaying for quite some time. And then also, you can't forget about your nose, this will just make it look very slim and dead. And then I'll be going in with a matte black eyeshadow and defining my bags. And this will just give my eyes a little bit more di dimension and 3D look. I'm also going to be applying this to the crease of my eyes and blending it out to make it look like my eyes have sunk into my face. Then going back in with the red lipstick, I'm going to be creating veins all over my face to make it look like I'm obviously very, very sickly and dead and it makes it look like my blood vessels have just exploded out of my face. And then going in with my eyelash glue, I'll be applying three to four layers on top of each wound that I'd like to create. So I'll be putting three on my face, one on my cheek, one on my forehead to represent a bullet wound, and then one down my neck and sort of on my face. 
and then the trick to this is just start picking and peeling away at the eyelash glue and I'll be taking some fake skin and this will also create a barrier between my skin and the fake blood that we will be applying later to make sure it doesn't stain my skin. Then taking a red lipstick and a black eyeshadow for dimension. And then repeat this process for every wound you have. So just apply the fake skin, the red lipstick inside the wound, and then trace the outside edges with a matte black lipstick. Next, I'll be moving on to my grossly, sickly, dead chap lips. So what I'm going to be doing is taking a red lipstick and creating little ticks and nicks in my lips. That rhymed. <laughs> to make it look like my lips are just disgustingly gross. And then applying the red to the outside edges of my lips and blending it downwards onto my face. To make it look like I have been munching on some delicious brains. To really make it look like my lips are decaying, I'm taking a black gel eyeliner and applying this all over my lips. This will make it look like my lips are just super dead and super chapped. And just all the life has been sucked out of them. And also applying it down where I smudged the red lipstick. And then taking the red lipstick and the black gel liner, I'm just going to be rimming the inside of my nostrils. And now everyone's favorite part, the blood. I'm going to be applying loads and loads of fake blood to all my wounds. And you do not have to worry. This can be as messy as you like it. So I hope you girls enjoyed this amazing video, and I hope you have a spooktacular Halloween. I love you.